Awesome. So I came across a really fascinating video on YouTube called how to make a million dollars a month as a Solidity developer. A Solidity developer being the coding language or the development language of Ethereum. Now, I was very intrigued by this and I dove a little bit deeper and found this very fascinating world that I really want to share with you. It's called MEV, Maximal Extractable Value. And it's what the Solidity developers are doing in order to make as much money as possible while helping process transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. Now, I'm not an expert at all in this, but I am fascinated by it. And I wanted to share it with you uh, more on a personal level, friend to friend than an expert teaching someone. Uh, but let's jump straight in because I'm fascinated by it. And I think you might be too. Uh, this here is uh, the video Flashbots, how to make 1 million per month as a Solidity developer with Stephanie Goslin and Robert Miller. Now you can come and watch this full thing if you want. Uh, it is quite complex, way too complex uh, for me, but it's a very good introduction into exactly what is going on. But I wanted to dumb it down um, because I needed to dumb it down to understand what was going on and uh, make it as simple as possible. And I want to actually start with this guy here. I don't know if you know him. His name is Sam Bankman Freed. He's 29 years old and he's worth $22 billion which is absolutely insane. He runs the exchange called FTX, which is, I think it could be the biggest, or if not one of the biggest uh, crypto exchanges. Um, it's insane. He lives in, Pan not in Panama, somewhere in the Caribbean. Um, and he lives with 10 roommates. There's a cool little YouTube video you can watch about him, but he's a very fascinating guy. And he's actually very charitable and he's planning on giving $10 billion away uh, in the next few years, which is quite impressive, but we are distracted. How did he start making money? Well, he was actually doing something called arbitrage, which was he saw in the early days, Bitcoin in the US was available for $10,000. Uh, Bitcoin in, the, in Japan was available for $11,000 and he exploited the difference in these prices. So he said he'd buy like a million dollars of um, or $10 million of Bitcoin in the US, sell $10 million of Bitcoin in Japan in one day, and make a million dollars. And he's like, he said he did that for like a month straight, which is pretty fantastic. I think he made like $26 million in a month, just exploiting that difference, which is a simple version of what we're about to jump into, uh, but a brilliant version of it. Um, one of my friends, actually, we minted one of these together, the MEV Army. Now my friend is a Solidity developer, uh, where I am not Solidity, once again, being the coding language of Ethereum. And I had no idea what it was. He's like, do you want one? I'm on the whitelist. I'm like, definitely want one. So uh, I had no idea what it was, but this sort of introduced me to this world and then got me over here on the flashbots and really uh, understanding what this is. And I'm glad I did because this is basically um, the dashboard that everyone uses to track how much money these miners are actually making uh, by using these techniques and these flashbots. And you can see the total uh, extracted MEV is 580 million dollars and it's only being measured since what is it april 2020 so in just under two years they've almost extracted uh they've extracted more than half a billion dollars in value um and you may be asking which i was as well when i saw this it's like well how how are they making half a billion dollars in two years by mining and uh you know processing transactions on the blockchain and i'll show you exactly how in a second but i wanted to show you um this is a really cool website. It's called explore.flashbots.net where they track how much money people are making uh, minute by minute. So you can see right now it's, uh, this is not my time zone, but somewhere in the world, it's 11.06 uh, p.m. on Feb 4 and someone just made uh, $97. Someone here just made $164. Someone just made $444. These are all within the last 15 minutes. Uh, you can scroll down to the bigger this um, miner right here just made $2,128 just by processing these transactions. Now, I'm going to go over here to the top MEV transactions of all time before I give you a really, really simple layman's uh, explanation of what how I understand it actually works. Uh, and, but I want you to think, what is the biggest in one transaction? So they make that money like that once they process that transaction, whatever extra value that they can... Uh, manipulate it to give them, uh, they get that straight to their wallet. Uh, how big do you think the biggest transaction is? Uh, if I go to top of all time, you can see it's a $3.2 million profit for processing just one transaction. Uh, and you can see it on the ether scan over here. And you can dive deeper into exactly how it works. But to make it as simple as possible, 
these people are doing what's called front running. Now, front running in stocks is uh, where you, someone puts a buy order in for a certain price and before that, before, from when they push the buy button to when the transaction is actually processed, there's computers running like millions of transactions every single second trading that coin, uh, buy and sell, buy and sell, depending on what you're telling to do to make profit because they know that your buy order is going to go in and they're actually leveraging that. And that's what these people are sort of doing. Apparently it's very advanced. Apparently they do it in a lot of different ways, uh, but they're arbitraging, just like we talked about Sam uh, Bankman Freed, who was doing it between US and Japan. They're looking at Uniswap, they're looking at other DEXs and they're seeing if they can make a buy and sell trade because they're the ones actually responsible for transacting that block on the blockchain. So they know what's going in it. And if they can make money, uh, say you, you want to buy Bitcoin uh, and we'll just make a random price because it fluctuates so much, but say, you're like, yeah, I want to buy five Bitcoin and I don't want to pay any more than $250,000 for it. And you give that, that transaction goes to the miner and they're like, cool, I've got to process this transaction. I've got the money going in and I've got to get them the Bitcoin. And they give you $250,000 budget. You can go to Uniswap, you can go to some other thing, you can take out a flash loan and leverage this money. And you can be like, is there a difference between the actual price that they want to pay and the price that I can get it for? And if you can get it for 247000 uh, you keep that $3,000, they, they keep, should I say, that extra $3,000. A very fascinating topic. I want to dive deeper in on our main channel. I'm actually going to see if we can actually try and do this, taking a flash loan. If you don't know what a flash loan is, let me explain to that to you before you go, because that is one of the most fascinating things I've ever heard uh, and sort of redefines finances as we know it. You know, if you want to go to a bank and take a loan, you go down to the bank, you prove that you can pay the loan back, and you take, the, you take the loan and you take all the risk on uh, and then you have to pay back with interest. Now with DeFi and flash loans, you can take a loan. You don't need any collateral. You don't need any um, proof that you can pay it back because there's, there's something very special about it. If your loan, if you don't make profit on the money you're actually borrowing, you don't ever take the loan and not meaning you don't get that money. The money is uh, temporarily goes to you but you pay it back before the transaction goes through. So let me break it down one more time, just so it's actually understandable. On a, um, say on a smart contract, you can have multiple steps. So if I wanted to borrow $5 million as step one, number one, and then put that uh, $5 million into Uniswap to buy $5 million of ETH, and then try and arbitrage that with another decentralized exchange uh, where, there's a, where there's a price difference, and if there's a price difference, it'll buy that extra money for me. And then I'll pay back the loan and keep whatever that distance the difference is in that price. But if there is no difference in that price or if that transaction fails, because the smart contract is one whole contract, by the time it actually gets to the end, it's failed its middle transaction and therefore it fails its whole process. And therefore the money was never borrowed in the first place because that hasn't been put into the blockchain because the whole contract has failed, which is a fascinating revolutionary thing where you can take hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars in a loan, try and arbitrage it. And if it doesn't actually um, go through, it just goes back to the original person, which is, you know, we can do more podcasts on that. Uh, I can get better and better at explaining it as I try to take one and understand it deeper. If you enjoy this sort of content, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.